My aunt and her mom are flying out to visit us over in Hawaii. The next week, we have a crazy plan to go to Kauai. But for the next 48 hours, we are going to enjoy some of the finer things on this island. And maybe some of the adventures too. John and I have been stationed here for the last few years, and when family comes out, we like to go big. Number one on the list, must see a turtle. Copy that. But first, aloha from Hawaii. Welcome back, you beautiful people, to the wonderful island of Oahu. straight to the restaurant from the airport. They wanted to try a house without a key, a popular outdoor restaurant right on Waikiki Beach, based on the novel a House Without a Key by Charlie Chan from 1925. Personally, I've not read the book. If you've read it, you're gonna have to put it down. Does this restaurant relate to the book at all? I'm really curious about that. <laughs> what do you think, Alex? You like your salad? It's gonna be a little bit different, okay? I don't eat the bread anymore. This is a little fancier for John and I than we normally do. We're personally more of the side of the road, food truck, maybe 7-Eleven Musubi couple. But go big or go home, it was Easter Sunday. I love the coconut cake. And the poke, the poke actually was really good. It's kind of hard to justify spending so much money on poke at this restaurant when you can literally go to a food truck down the street and get really good poke. But I have to say this was pretty good. So after wonderful lunch, we booked it over to Kualo Basin where we had reservations with the Moana Sailing Company for a sunset sail around Waikiki Beach. I was really excited about this, and for some reason, after two years of being here, John and I have never done this. upwind before, well you know what is about to happen.
show. So I had to put the phone away. I should have brought my GoPro because those waves started coming over the bow like crazy. We turned around and headed with the wind. And while we may have been wet and cold, it was very beautiful. We headed to our place for the night before getting up before sunrise in search of turtles. No time to waste. If you want to see turtles and some of the best wildlife on any of the islands, sunrise and sunset are your times of day. I first took Harry and Ethel to one of the secret beaches on Oahu. I've had good luck seeing seals and turtles here. The lagoon may not be big, but it does have a lot of tropical fish. And right as we were watching that guy, another turtle. Our snorkeling adventures were not over. We stopped over by the Island Country Market for a grab-and-go lunch and plopped ourselves down at an electric beach and watched the dolphins while we ate. And then Carrie and I decided that it was time to head back out to do some more snorkeling. And by God, by that point in the time of the day, Electric Beach did not disappoint. The clarity of the water was so beautiful. Now, Electric Beach is an advanced snorkeling location. So for all of you, do not just show up there first. to see so many turtles, I lost count. My GoPro ended up dying fairly early in this snorkeling adventure, but I'm pretty sure we spent a good hour, maybe longer, out in the water, going a pretty good distance. Oh, 
So I'm sorry about the GoPro dying. If you want to see more of what Electric Beach can be like, I took Alex and Haley snorkeling with turtles and seals out there, and Kimberly and I came out for a sunrise snorkel, and it was absolute magic. Check those videos out. Otherwise, you may need to take my word for it. This place is amazing. Oh my god. And the spinner dolphins just came back. Oh my god. We, they're right where we were. But, okay, we, we, we saw like 10 turtles. It's so amazing. Totally redeemed from like, oh, that's the last trip it took. Like, saw the dolphins from the distance. So amazing. But we gathered our stuff and drove back home, pick up the girls from school, and plan to go out to Waimea Valley. And Waimea Valley is an amazing little gem. If you don't have much time, there's a lot going on when you go to this place. One, it is a hike to a waterfall that you can actually swim at most times of the year. And you get to go through a botanical garden. You also get to learn more about the Hawaiian people and the cultures. But unfortunately, as we headed down there, traffic on the North Shore was at a standstill. So we just changed direction and I took them to Keanu Point for a lovely sunset hike along the ocean. If you only had 48 hours, I highly recommend Waimea Valley. But for our trip, we did still enjoy a beautiful little hike on the North Shore. finished our day off at Seven Brothers. Many other restaurants are closed on Sundays and Mondays, but we did enjoy it. Tomorrow we are flying to Hawaii, and that is where the wild adventures really start. Oh my gosh, all right. What a whirlwind of a, I don't know, 30 hours we had. That was amazing. I don't think we've, I've ever had such good fortune in such a short amount of time that was like so crucial for everything to come together. I lost count of how many turtles we saw. It was amazing. But now we're on to our second part of our trip, the longer part. We are going to Kauai. The girls are in school. My aunt and her mom, Ethel, have already flown out this morning. And we are gonna join them this afternoon. As soon as they get out of school, we're gonna get an Uber and head to the airport. And now, I've got to pack all of this stuff. Sad part is John is not joining us. He's busy. He's got a grade EIB or something. I don't know. Anyway, he's busy. So just give me the girls and I and girls trip to Kauai. And I'm really excited about Kauai. It will be our first time going to Kauai. And while Maui was definitely great snorkeling, it was much more of like your resort, relax, laid back kind of island. Kauai looks like the Adventure Island. Mahalo for watching. I'll see you guys next week.